we have been sick for the past couple of weeks and Good morning, it has been a minute since I spoke to camera. Gosh, a lot has been happening and so this vlog will be a little catch up vlog, just touching base, saying hello and updating you on what has been happening in the past couple of weeks. To start with, uh, work on the patio project has stalled slightly. So I guess it goes hand in hand with this information but Unfortunately, our whole household, myself, Scott and Link, we think, uh, came down with the virus finally. So it took four years for it to get us. And uh, Scott and I were both working in aviation when COVID first kicked off. And we were, in fact, stood down as well. Um, but we've been working in aviation and he works in public transport this entire time and we have managed to avoid it, but unfortunately, yes, it did uh, hit our household like a ton of bricks. So uh, it has been a bit quiet while we've just been trying to recover. Um, for me personally, the biggest impact it had for me was exhaustion and fatigue and just having no energy to do anything um, and I've really hated that feeling but I am on the up and up now. Thankfully Link didn't actually ever test positive. Uh, Scott and I definitely did. So yes, yeah, so we all got COVID unfortunately but we're all better now which is great and we can move on with our lives. So what you'll see in today's video is going to be basically our adventures and things we got up to before we tested COVID and had to lay low for a little while. To start with we had to go to Chermside as I had to go to the athlete's foot store to buy a pair of shoes recommended by my podiatrist. Now he gave me a list of different shoes to look at and the athlete's foot was the store that I found that had most of them in stock so we went there to see what I liked best and I picked up my shoes. While we were there we decided to pop into the Nespresso store. Now I have not not actually been into a Nespresso store before. It was certainly an experience. Um, they are professional in there when it comes to uh, helping you find the right coffee. But yeah, that was great. We got to have a really good discussion with the sales crew in there and they were actually really helpful. And we went to the back of the store, they had a machine set up and I got to try different coffees, which was wonderful. So we went home with a couple of purchases from there. Now, I did actually have a proper coffee bean, grind it yourself, steam your own milk uh, machine before I fell pregnant. And I loved that. I used it all the time. Uh, then I fell pregnant and I went off coffee completely. So I didn't have coffee my entire pregnancy. And then post baby, I definitely went back on the coffee train, but it was far too fiddly. I did not have the hands. I didn't have the time to be using a fully manual machine. So we sold that machine and got a Nespresso machine instead. And this thing is amazing. It's just set and forget. Um, it's very helpful. So. I do love my Nespresso. I've realized it's not super great for the environment, but we do try and mitigate the use of the pods in other ways in our lives. I also took another trip to Roma Street. Yes, it is one of my favorite places in Brisbane. I've said it before, it's just so accessible. It's so easy to get to. So Link and I went for a little, I think it was Sunday morning, a little Sunday morning trip into Roma Street. I just wanted to have a look around. It has been a little while since I was in there last and I met my parents at the cafe there and we had a really nice brunch. Um, so it was really nice to see them and Link had a great time as well, so that was fun. I also went and got a massage done on my knee. So it has been giving me a little bit of grief lately and I'm sure it's just the healing process. I will admit it has been a much longer healing process than I thought it was going to be. Um, but we are getting there one day at a time. So that massage was really good, just helped to kind of release 
um, the muscles I think in my knee that were kind of tight and kind of not really happy. <laughs> My glasses are fogging up because I'm hot and sweaty and it's actually cool outside today. So I think it's about 22 degrees at the moment, which is cool by Queensland standards. We were up early this morning. Link has been getting up around 5.30 again. So I figured we'd make the most of it and get out for a walk because it is a stunning morning. The promise of things to come with cooler weather around the corner, which I'm very excited about and i have some expensive orthotics to test out so that's what we're doing this morning the roads were so quiet like barely a car anywhere it was glorious the pathway that i'm on very different everyone seems to have the same idea about getting out for a walk or a run early in the morning before it gets too hot so yeah this is definitely a beautiful time of day to be out and about Turkey making his nest. Good job, buddy. I feel like I should be renaming the channel Jess's Walking Adventures or something like that because that's I feel like all I share. then we've also had more rain and more floods so I don't usually get down to the brook when it's flooding like when the event's happening because I'm not going to go and walk down there and I've always got Lincoln with me I'm not going to take him down there but we were out and about on this day so I was we were able to drive down and have a look and see what it looked like when the brook was actually quite out from flood and it was um powerful very powerful debris on those trees and stuff they're all flattened again they're really fighting against those trees yeah gosh look how much it's oh it's actually like you can see it's got two it's got like an island between it and then it keeps going 
and hammer barn. So this might be sacrilege, but we're not super a bluey family. Uh, I don't have a problem with bluey, it's just that Lincoln isn't really interested in it yet. So maybe when he's a bit older, he'll enjoy watching it and that'll be great. But um, I understand that Bunnings is transforming into hammer barn for a month in certain places of the country. And the one in Brisbane just happens to be our local Bunnings. So we actually had to go there for another reason to pick up something for the lemon tree. And of course we went there and all the hammer barn, you know, things were up and around. So it was very cute to see that. And Link seemed a little bit excited about it. Good morning. It is a Tuesday and we are off to the library to get ourselves out of the house. We have been sick for the past couple of weeks and Link hasn't been at daycare and I'm just hanging out to get out of the house. So we're finally feeling better. So off we go. Well done. Yeah. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. If you do enjoy this content, please be sure to give it a like, drop a comment below. I do respond to all the comments and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really does help my little channel to get out there to more people. My next video is an exciting one. Now that I've finally kicked this Loki, we're going to head off to one of the beautiful free natural spaces in Brisbane to visit. I'll be doing a video all on that and I can't wait to share it with you. So I will see you then. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.